Welcome to the Plentiful Goddess Podcast. My name is Jessica Karabad and I'm a holistic coach for women, certified vegan nutritionist, fitness trainer, yogi, and Raki master. I have coached hundreds of women worldwide and I made it my mission to help women from all around the world transform their lives and health in ways they didn't think was possible. If you're looking to uplevel your health, learn about the best practical tips on vegan health and fitness, master your menstrual cycle, improve your relationship with food and so much more so that you can reconnect with the powerful woman that you're meant to be, then you have come to the right place. My goal in this podcast is for you to help you step up your game, reconnect with yourself as a woman, and elevate your health and life. We are going to have so much fun in this podcast. Are you ready? Let's begin. Hello everyone, I'm Jess, and today I want to talk to you about why you feel stuck, okay? I don't know what that movement was. If you're watching the video, you're like, is she okay? <laughs> Anyways, I'm just I'm just very happy today. I'm very pumped. I'm very good energy and I want to talk to you about why you feel stuck today. And feeling stuck is a feeling which is so hard to explain and I 100% understand where you're at and that's why I want to talk to you about this today because I can tell you a million moments in my life where I felt stuck. I felt like nothing was moving forward. I felt like things were not going the way I wanted to and I felt like I was hitting a blockage and another blockage and another blockage and things that were just not going well for me. So I want to talk to you about that today and what feeling stuck actually means. Now, whew, where do I start? So I want to talk a little bit about the work that I'm doing and what helped me understand this feeling of feeling stuck. So Neville Goddard is an amazing man that talked a lot about manifestation and how to create things in your life in a way that you're going to manifest them in a quick way and you can actually achieve all of the goals that you want. And he always talks about the wish fulfilled and he always talks about faith and believing in the thing that you want without seeing it yet in real life. So if you think about it, when you feel stuck, you probably might be feeling a frustration because you feel like the work that you've been doing has not been giving you the results that you want. And that might make you feel like you feel stuck. Now, there are different ways to look at it. On the one hand, you might feel like you're doing all of the work, but you're not getting to the end result, or you actually know you're not doing the work and that's why you feel stuck or you don't know what you need to do. In terms of the doing, doing, doing and not seeing the results, that's what I want to speak to you right now, is that when we think about that, oftentimes we always do things and create results based on the results that we already know. So when you feel like you're doing things over and over again and you're not seeing it in real life yet, what that actually just means is you're planting the seed, you're planting, you're building this confidence, you're building the knowledge, you are doing all of the right things and what you want to do is you want to continue staying in that feeling that the thing that you are wanting to achieve is already there on the other side, knowing that it's already there, even if you can't see it in the reality. And that applies to you if you feel like you've been doing all of the right things and it's not showing up. Feeling stuck is just telling you that either way, you don't have the faith in what you're doing and that it's gonna work out and you're doubting yourself or that you don't know if you're doing the right thing or it doesn't feel aligned with you anymore. Okay, so as you can see, there are different things that you can look at it, but you need to get clear on what that feeling or what is causing you to feel like you're stuck. Saying it from a personal experience, whenever I feel stuck, I feel like I'm doing all of the right things, and it's not showing up for me. And I felt like this many, many times in my life. What I had to remind myself of is take a step back and understand that this is just me not 100% believing that where I'm going is going to happen and that I have the faith that even though I'm not seeing it in reality right now, it's going to happen. Now, if you feel stuck, because you feel like you're not doing the right things and you feel like you don't know where you're going, then you have to completely take a step back 
and ask yourself, why are you doing this in the first place? Because feeling stuck is just another word, as I said, for frustration, but also can sound like you don't even know if you're going into the right direction. Because if you know what your goal is, feeling stuck is just a moment where you might be questioning if you're going into the right direction and if the goal is still aligned with you. Because if you don't know your why behind your goal and you don't know, first of all, where you're going and why you're doing it, feeling stuck is gonna happen so, so many times. Because once you feel stuck, your energy is focused on the feeling stuck feeling instead of all of the other possibilities and opportunities that are around you and all of the things that you can do right? So once your energy is focused only on the thing that is not working out and you're feeling stuck, the energy that you could use on all of the other things is not there anymore because it's directed only on this one thing. So what's going to happen is you're going to create results based on that feeling of stuckness. So you want to take a step back and really reflect and be like, okay, so now that I'm stuck, what are some other opportunities and possibilities this could be? As an example, what I do as well, I reach out for help. I either way hire a coach, I have someone by my side that helps me with that feeling, or I take a complete break and I go for a walk and I clear my mind, or I journal and I sit down and I write down my goal step by step and I get clear on it, I meditate. So I really find tools that help me, but one of the tools that always helps me the most is having someone by my side and having guidance for it. So I wanted this episode to be short and precise. I hope this was helpful for you to just get a little bit of clarity as as to why you might feel stuck and also recognizing to shift your energy out of that and not having it as this focus, but ask yourself, what are all of the other things that I can do right here? Open your consciousness and ask yourself, okay, I'm doing this right now. This is not serving me. What is it that I can do instead? That is it, my plentiful goddess. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope this was precise enough. If you would like me to talk longer about this on another episode, let me know. But until then, I'm wishing you a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.